guys in the previous video we learned how to use this plugin with contact form 7 and do the mobile OTP verification and in this video we're going to learn how to uh, register user with mobile OTP verification okay let's begin then so as you can see this is a registration form and this form already has a contact number option okay there could be two scenarios first it has a contact number option second it doesn't have a contact number option uh, which means it does have uh, sorry it doesn't have the contact uh, number input field so we have got uh, you know the choices to create an input field for the mobile if it doesn't already have one or not create one and use the existing one if it does have so it is going to work in the same fashion as the previous contact form 7 was working so all you have to do is is get the uh, form uh, ID or class so basically the selector so the selector is SB sign form so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, so over here in obviously in the uh, contact or, or you know the uh, settings for a plugin all you have to do is just go to the user registration or contact form 7 settings and just paste the selector and obviously since it's an ID make sure you prefix it with hash if it was a class then you'll prefix it with dot as mentioned over here okay so you've done that now we need the submit button selector so let's search for that so here is your register button let's inspect it I know it's very small but it's understood so this is submit button there's an ID on it that's better we want something unique so SB register submit so all we can do is just over here say hash because it's an ID that's why we're prefixing it with hash it was with, if it was class then we would have used the dot and create a mobile input field do we require that no why because it already has the mobile input field okay so it's asking for the pre-existing mobile input field name so this was the one let's inspect it okay so we need the name basically the field name so the field name is SB register contact let's copy that let's paste it here since this is not an ID or a class we don't have to prefix it with a dot or hash we can just put it like this okay and then this is your template you can just write whatever message you want just make sure you put OTP in capital in the braces okay and then all you have to do is just click on save changes once you save change come back onto your form register form refresh the page and sure enough you can see that you have got the send OTP just ignore this plus nine one it just uh, the pre-existing form has some uh, plus nine one uh, which is breaking over here so just ignore that okay all right, so all we can do is just put the cont uh, contact number so 996011960. Click on send OTP. Sure enough, OTP sent to your mobile. And I'm going to enter my OTP over here. So I've got the OTP on my mobile. I'll just paste it here. Click on verify OTP. And sure enough, thanks for verification, OTP has been sent okay you can see this field is grayed out so a user can't do anything now all he has to do is just enter his name email address at gmail.com and his password and now if I go ahead and register it sure enough it's been registered okay cool now, uh, in case if the contact field doesn't exist, just like the previous video I've explained over here, you can just select that you do want to go ahead and uh, create an input field for mobile and it will create it automatically for you. Okay, cool. So that's that. Uh, I think the last thing that's remaining is uh, to send the link for forgot password. Okay, uh, so I'm going to cover that up in the next video. Okay, take care guys. Bye-bye.